one of the things that we focused on was, well, projects, why not work on projects that can help people with various and sundry uh, disabilities? And we've gradually evolved uh, where we we're working with people across campus, uh, really not just the College of Engineering, but in CIAS, uh, Golisano, uh, certainly with uh, folks from NTID, um, t and to really bring together devices that help people. Probably the best thing that's come out of that have been the students' interaction with the people who need the, the, the assistance, if you will. Um, if, if I just gave them a project and said, okay, we're going to do a crutch or we're going to do a cooling system, they'd look at me, okay, yeah, here's some pretty pictures. Uh, they'd be pretty devoid of life um, and personality. As soon as they go and visit, everything changes completely. All of a sudden, it becomes theirs, um, and, and they're really designing for somebody with a lot of passion. So. This crutch was kind of a, the base was a rough 3D print of the concept that we wanted, which was that you could attach a base to the bottom of it. So the, the, the projects um, certainly go on beyond, beyond the class time. Several projects started, several of the idea labs, and they took them on over the course of the summer um, as, as part of a co-op, um, and they brought them into a class, and some of them are working for credit. Many of them are not working for credit. They're just doing it because this is theirs. So the conference on November 10th, uh, it's our third year. And the idea for the conference really stemmed from the fact that we have significant funding uh, in terms of grants uh, coming into RIT associated with topics that are related to access and inclusion. And um, the first conference, uh, with very short notice, uh, we had over 200 attendees. And, and I think more importantly, we had um, really kind of the leaders of agencies uh, in Rochester attend and give their viewpoint uh, as to what their needs were. What's so unique about RIT, why we would be good at this, is that we have this ecosystem that really is evolving so that we get the ideas, we develop the ideas, we build prototypes, and then we have a mechanism on the business side of things, that if it looks like something that would be commercializable, we, we have a pathway for that. So even though we're doing good, um, you know, sort of a side effect, oh gosh, we're educating them well. <laughs>